This video will show you how to monitor what is happening in the simulation by stopping at certain events and displaying some of Vericut's monitoring tools. Here we have a Vericut project open. The Vericut setup is complete and now we can start to monitor what is happening in the simulation. First, let's display the NC program panel. This panel displays the NC program file being simulated. The arrow pointer indicates the current NC program being processed. The driven point axis displays the driven point and the program zero location. The axis represents where the program zero is located and the bullseye symbol illustrates what is being driven, typically the tooltip or the spindle face. We can single step the simulation until the first tool change. Notice that the tool loads into the spindle and that the driven point is still at the spindle face. We continue to process the simulation and at the G43 line the driven point moves to the tip of the tool. This is because G43 activates the tool offset. The Vericut simulation can be set to automatically stop at certain events. To do this, we right-click on the play button and select one of the options from the pull-down list. For example, stop at every tool change. Clicking on the reset button will cause Verica to reload the original stock model and rewind the NC program. Now when we click on the play button, the simulation stops at the first tool change. The status panel is a configurable panel which provides status information about the simulation and what would be occurring on the CNC machine. Let's reset the simulation, remove the stop at every tool change, and use the NC program window to search for a specific text, M97. And then set the simulation to stop at that text. We click on the play button and the simulation will run until an M97 is found. Let's adjust the two views to better see what is occurring. This command is a call to a subroutine. We click single step and the simulation jumps to the start of the subroutine. Notice that the single step button has right click options enabling you to specify what you want Verica to do when a subroutine is encountered. Let's select Play until the end of the subroutine. The call stack panel enables you to track information like the depth or level of a subroutine call, among other information. We can single step the simulation and we are back in the main program and then we can continue to the end. And that's it. For more information on features you have seen here, see the Vericut help or for a step-by-step -step training session, see the Vericut welcome screen.